is Christ Media TV. Hi, this is Leslie Mosina and you're watching Christ Media TV. To the youth, I just want to say, stay blessed and stay strong. Amen. Welcome to Bethesda Bible Church Ministry, where the living waters flow. Bethesda Bible Church is the Church of God under the leadership of Pastor Tiva Lijate. We are located at number 38 Pretorius Road, President Park in Midrand, South Africa. Enjoy watching our channel and God bless you.
COVID-19 is a new illness that can affect your lungs and airways. It's caused by coronavirus. This is a global pandemic which requires everyone to take responsibility in order to minimize the spread of coronavirus. It is now compulsory for all South Africans to wear a face mask in public even after the lockdown eases. If you cannot afford disposable face masks, you may have to make use of the cloth face mask. But what if you cannot sew one for yourself? Well, that's where Miss Price Fashion comes in. We can assist you with cheap and affordable, reusable quality face masks. We produce three types of face masks. The pleated face mask, the nose curved shape face mask, and the lace face mask. All these masks have three layers of fabric as proposed by the government. We have all sizes including children's face masks. Our face masks start from as little as 25 rand per mask. We also have special prices for bulk orders. To order your mask, please call the number on the screen. You can also place your order through our website which is www.misspricefashion.co.za. You can also follow us on our social media pages. Thank you for your support and stay safe. God bless South Africa. Miss Price Fashion, your dress code, your signature. Hi, this is Brian Temba and you're watching Christ Media TV. Stay tuned. Oh 
you have enjoyed the worship session the word of the lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it we will now cross over to our studios and hear the word of god from our senior pastor pastor tiba lejade good morning beautiful people children of god this is pastor tiba lejade from bethesda bible church coming to you live we are here to share the word on our faith walk series and today we are starting what I call the faith cycle. Now I'll explain to you after I've read the scripture how the faith cycle works and we will go into details week by week to explain, to get you familiar with the faith cycle. Let's read from the word of God from the book of Mark chapter 5 verse 25 to 34. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I touch his clothes, I shall be made well. And immediately the fountain of blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him turned around in the middle of the crowd and said who touched my clothes but the disciples said to him you see the multitude thronging you and you say who touched my clothes and he looked around and to see who had done these things but the woman fearing and trembling knowing what had happened came to her and fell to him and came to him and fell down and said to and told him the whole truth and he said to her daughter your faith has made you well go in peace and be healed of your affliction amen wow powerful scripture here we hear of a woman who had an issue of blood i don't know exactly what an issue of blood it's like I know women do go to these four days a month, five days, some seven, those who are lucky. And I can imagine if you were to go through that for 12 years, nonstop, that should have been terrible. And the Bible says she had gone to many physicians and she has spent all that she had. Let me tell you something, child of God. Diseases will make you broke. The thief comes for three things, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Listen to me, the thief will steal your money, the thief will kill you, the thief will destroy you. When he is done with you, you will be totally destroyed. That's what the devil is here for. But Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Now the Bible says this woman has spent everything. After spending everything, instead of growing better, she grew worse. And nothing was happening. But I like what the Bible says. But the Bible says, when she heard about Jesus. Now, that's the first step of a faith, faith circle. Hearing. When she heard about Jesus. When she heard about... Hearing is the first step towards faith. Romans 10 verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Fear comes by hearing and hearing the word of the enemy. Whatever you are scared of is because of what you heard. People told you, that's why children are not fearful of anything. 
they can do anything is the mother will say, you will fall yeah you will break your leg kids don't know about breaking a leg they know about jumping so kids can do anything but because you and i have had so many things what you have had has limit your faith when you i was young i believed in everything when i was young i believe i could do anything but as you grow older what you hear determines your belief system and your belief system determine your speech and your speech determine what you receive that's the faith cycle you hear you believe you speak and you receive what you speak when you when when you hear your belief system will be determined or controlled or manipulated by what you hear when you believe you speak what you believe you cannot speak anything except what you believe the bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and when you speak the bible says you shall have whatsoever you say so when you speak you determine your receiving when you receive you that's your life cycle it becomes who you are now the bible says for she heard when she heard about jesus she believed and she came behind him and say if i touch the hem of his garment i shall be made well and she got a healing now i want you to see something from this part of scripture that your hearing is the entry point of your faith In other words, remember the word of God is a seed. Your hearing is the entry point to your belief system. So, it is important child of God that you need to be careful what you hear. Because if you hear wrong, you will believe wrong and you will speak wrong and you will act wrong and you will receive wrong. But if you hear right, you will believe right, you will speak right, you will act right and you will receive right. Listen to me. If I, you want to change a person, change what they hear. What you hear influences who you end up being. And the because of that, you become what you're hearing. The Bible says, "I have come that they may have life and they may have it to the abundance." Listen to me. When you hear the word of God you are hearing life and you speak life and you believe life and you become what you are hearing it is very 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 important that you hear the right stuff because if you don't hear the right stuff you will believe the wrong thing the psalmist says of all the things that I must guard I must guard my heart for out of my heart comes the issues of life what you hear will determine what you live i i get so worried when i see people in the day and time that we are living they allow themselves to hear everything it's not everything you see on tv that is good for it's not everything you hear on radio that is good for you there are times where you need to switch off and say i don't want to hear this because this will spoil my belief system because there are things that you need to get out of everything guard your heart or your mind for out of it comes the issues of life you need as a child of god to be careful that you do not hear the wrong stuff there are things that will spoil your belief system faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god so what you hear child of god it's very critical to your life let me tell you something Uh, in, in 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 the medical world there's always things like this is incurable this is incurable this cannot be cured but you see the medical world are talking about their experiences when you hear them you know that this can be cured recently we've had the the scourge of corona virus people are so scared of corona no one has ever seen corona but we have heard We have heard that in such and such a country so many people die. We have heard in such and such and so many people died and we are scared of something we have not for fear comes by hearing and hearing the word of the devil. Now when you hear wrong, you believe wrong and receive wrong. Which is why the Bible in Proverbs 4 verse 23 says keep your heart with all diligence for out of it comes the issue issues of life. In other words, if you cannot control the input, 
the output is out of your control. I repeat, if you cannot control the input, the output is out of your control. Garbage in, garbage out. So if I do not guard what goes into my ear, I will not have control of what comes out. And the danger is what goes out of my mouth is what I receive. For the Bible says, he shall have, that's Mark 11, 23, the last portion. He shall have whatsoever he says. What am I saying? Out of the abundance of the heart. Where did the abundance of the heart come from? From what I've heard. Do you see the connection? I hear and it becomes the abundance of my heart. My heart is my mind. And what is in my mind comes automatically out of my mouth. If uh, I give you a tube, a tube like let's say toothpaste tube, but it's, nothing is written, you don't know whether it's toothpaste, whether it's uh, some hair product or whatever, and it's nothing, no marking, and I ask you, what is inside this tube? You will be so confused, you won't know what it is, but you will say, I can't know. For you to know what is inside the tube, you got to apply pressure. Child of God, can I tell you something? Pressure will reveal what is inside you. When you're going through financial difficulty, that's what we know what is you are full of. When your child is sick or things are not going well, that's when we know what is inside. That's when you'll say, maybe let's try some doctor so-and-so, some witch doctor, or let's go to prophet so-and-so. Because inside you, that's what you're full of. Pressure exposes what is inside of you. But if you're full of the word, which is why the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you're full of the word, when there is those challenges, what is inside you will come out. Now, how do you become full of the word? It's because of what you hear. You need to be careful what you hear. There are television channels you shouldn't watch. There are radio stations you shouldn't listen. There are friends you shouldn't be friends with. Whenever they open their mouth, they bring unbelief, they bring doubt, they bring defeat. And the more you listen to them, the more you'll be like them. There is an English saying, you are what you eat. Forgive me, uh, you know, uh, there are people who say, ah, you see I'm gaining weight. It's not because I love food. It's just my body. That's nonsense. There's nothing like just my body. It's just your eating. There are poor countries in the world where you never feed, see people as fat as I am. And you ask yourself, does it mean they all have a different gene? It's what I'm eating. I've got a tummy. It's because of my eating rabbits. You are what you eat, man. Listen to me. You are what you hear. Whatever I see in you, I already know what you listen I know what channels you listen to. I know what kind of friends you keep. I know what kinds of radios you listen to. What comes in your ears will determine your belief system. This woman says, the Bible says, she heard about Jesus. Hey, the, the mere fact that she heard about Jesus, it changed her whole lifestyle. She's been suffering for 12 years, but she heard. I don't know what you've been suffering from. I don't know what has been difficult in your life. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know your situation, but I'm telling you, what are you hearing? If you are suffering and you hear of more people, are suffering, have you ever realized that in life, the people who you are going through the same thing, when you hear them, it sort of comforts you and you feel that you can accept the status quo. I want you, child of God, to start hearing the right stuff. Hear the word of God. The book of Psalms says, Blessed is he who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the word of the Lord. But in in it, he delights in the word of God day and night. And listen, the Bible says, whatever he does, he succeeds. If you want to see yourself succeeding, if you want to see yourself prospering, if you want to see yourself having a breakthrough in your life, start hearing the right stuff. Start keep spending time in what builds you rather than spend time in what destroys you. What you hear determines what you receive. The friends you keep is the life you will live. The radios you listen to is the life you will reflect. You are a reflection of what you hear. It is important, child of God, to make sure that you hear the right, right stuff. It is important that you lock your head, that you say, I'm not going to listen to everybody. 
I'm not going to hear everybody. Jesus says, whatever I hear my father doing, whatever I see my father doing, that is what I do. I'm encouraging you, child of God, to start loving the word of God. It's what maybe whatever you're going through is because of what you're hearing. It's when you start to tune into the right radio station. You know, when you got a radio, I remember the old radio, you had to go winding it until you get the, the right dial. They call it a dial. Your dial may be wrong. Maybe you have dialed in the station of demon. Start dialing in the station until, oh, this is God. This is Jesus speaking. And start hearing. The more you hear him, the more you start believing differently. The more you start speaking differently. And the more you will receive differently. Remember, what you hear determines your belief system. Your belief system determines your speech. And your speech determines what you receive. And what you receive determines your lifestyle. So to control and to change your lifestyle, change what you hear. Child of God, this is a way to guide you. This is a way to give you guidance and that start hearing the right stuff. Now to you who may not be a Christian, we don't want to lock you out. Maybe you are saying, Pastor, I've heard the word. I see that I'm a sinner. I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Do this prayer, this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I heard your word. I see that I'm a sinner. I come to you, Lord. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I confess my sins. I accept you, Lord, in my life, in Jesus' mighty name. If you have prayed that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look for a church in your area that is word-based. And God love you. We love you. If you are in an area, you can join us. We thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching Bethesda Bible Church Ministry. We hope you've been blessed with today's sermon. If you would like to support this ministry financially, please do so by depositing your tithe and offerings. Our banking details are displayed on the screen. You can also get in touch with us via our Facebook page at Bethesda Bible Church Midrand or email info at BethesdaBibleChurch.co.za or visit our website which is www.BethesdaBibleChurch.co.za or call us on the number displayed on the screen. No, no.